Dele and Louisa are both marketers with experience working for top businesses. The couple met in London in 2013 and moved to Cambridge in 2017. Whilst they had not published a book before, they leveraged their experience in marketing and business strategy to build a business plan and roadmap for their business, Kunda Kids. Kunda Kids is a publishing and creative media studio with a team of writers, illustrators, editors, musicians, and animators with a single purpose to inspire the next generation of young people about ancient and modern African history and culture. Please welcome Dele and Louisa for a book reading at the 2021 Akada Children's Book Festival. Hello, I'm Louisa. Hi everyone, my name is Dele. Greetings from London. Um, Louisa and I started a company called Kunda Kids and we write beautiful children's books. Our first books are called Africa's Little Kings and Queens. Yes. And this is a collection of four amazing stories. Tell us. Here they are. So we've got Queen Ya Saves the Golden Stool. Wow. Mansa Musa Builds a School. Shaka Zulu Learns to Dance, which we'll be reading today. And Queen Katami Makes Friends. Yes, thank you. So Shaka Zulu Learn to Dance is what we're going to be reading today. And this is a book inspired by the real life Shaka Zulu, a king from South Africa. Do you want to tell us a little about South, uh, Shaka Zulu before we go on? Sure, I would love to. So Shaka Zulu is, well, this story is a fictional story based on the real life Shaka Zulu. And he is an incredible person who was actually one of the monarchs um, of the Zulu kingdom, which we now know as modern day South Africa. Uh, he was strong, courageous, and known for being one of history's great nation builders and was actually referred to as a genius. Wow. So all you little geniuses, sit back, listen, and enjoy this amazing reading of Shaka Zulu Learns to Dance. Brought to you by Kunda Kids. Meet Shaka Zulu, a great warrior and powerful king. The Zulu Empire spread far and wide under him. The Empire was vast and filled with animals, big and small. There were so many lions, lizards and buffaloes all across the land that Shaka couldn't count them all. Shaka was strong, strict and brave. With him in charge, the people always behaved. Just look at his might. Just look at his stance. There was only one problem. Shaka couldn't dance. Zulu people are known for their great moves. They can shimmy, shake and really move to the groove. The leaders in the nearby kingdoms knew the latest dance moves and Shaka was the only one who couldn't move with the tunes. At parties he tried to follow along but he danced like he couldn't hear the song. His arms and legs would go all wonky some people joked and said he looked and danced like a donkey. All the laughing and pointing made Shaka feel very sad. He didn't have the dancing skills everyone else seemed to have. And in two days, it would be the Zulu disco. And as the king of the land, Shaka had to go. The pressure was on. He needed to find a beat. Any beat that would work with his two left feet. The next day, on a walk through the town, the king heard a sound. Bang! Ba 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 bang! Bang! It was very loud. He followed the noise and found his friend Sandile, drumming on a drum set with her twin sister Andile. They played a boom and a bap and a tap and a tip. Shaka did the guara guara and then he did a flip. He raised his leg and stomped it down. Then he moved his hips round and round. Sandile said, my king, I see you like my beats. It's quite unique how you move your feet. Shaka felt shy and said, don't mind me. 
Please ignore my little prance. Your music is great, but I know I can't dance. And Dilly said, those are the best moves I've seen in a while. And you can be yourself. Everyone has their own style. Don't compare yourself to other people because when the music starts, we are all equal. Shaka walked home feeling confident that his own style was unique. And soon he stopped saying that he had two left feet. The day arrived and the time to party was finally here. Everyone came together with glee and cheer. Shaka arrived and took a deep breath, ready to put his moves to the test. Usually he would hide, but today he was front and centre, smiling and waving at everyone as he entered. He did a wiggle and a dip and a kick and a bow followed by a hop and a spin, and the crowd said, Wow! Shaka's moves were the same, but now he had confidence, so he enjoyed dancing in front of an audience. In the end, he had so much fun, and his moves became a signature dance enjoyed by everyone. Shaka learnt that we are all created different, and confidence in yourself is what makes you magnificent. Yes. And yeah. that's uh, the reading of Shaka Zulu Learns to Dance. Really amazing story brought to you by Kunda Kids. This story is a story about confidence. And you, wherever you are, no matter what situation you're in, you should know that you're very different from anyone. There's nobody else like you. And just be confident in who you are. And when you're confident in who you are, you're going to be very magnificent. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for listening to this story. And we're wishing you all the best. Sending you lots of love from London. All the best from Kinder Kids. Bye. Bye-bye.